Introducing the Elgin in-drain treatment system, the result of 25 years of published research and field experience. The Elgin in-drain treatment system is the only system that pre-treats septic effluent with a two-stage biomat. Constructed of lightweight recycled materials, the finished dimensions of each in-drain unit are 3 feet by 4 feet by 7 inches. With a weight of only 18 pounds, the lightweight construction makes them easy to transport, handle, and install. A continuous length of biofabric is wrapped over and under cuspated core spacers, resulting in approximately 100 square feet of surface area within each in-drain unit. This unique patented design provides up to 10 times the surface area of conventional stone or chamber systems. The primary biomat forms on the biofabric, which allows the majority of the biomat to form well above the native soil interface. In addition, a partial and secondary biomat is formed on top of the underlying concrete washed sand, providing further treatment of the effluent. As the treated effluent travels through the 6-inch layer of concrete washed sand, the effluent is treated yet a third time. The 6-inch layer of sand also provides an unsaturated flow into the native soil, eliminating the chance of channeling effluent directly into underlying water supplies. By pre-treating the septic tank effluent, the long-term acceptance rate into the native soil beneath the system is increased from 3 to 10 times that of the conventional stone or chamber systems. This dramatic increase in filtration rate allows the Elgin in-drain system to operate in a significantly smaller area than other systems. The Elgin in-drain system design provides a number of advantages over conventional systems. The Elgin in-drain system does not require stone. It provides effective treatment with a much smaller system size. Its shallow installation reduces fill requirements by as much as 50%. Likewise, it reduces labor and machine time as well as clearing costs on wooded sites and it is well suited for fast or slow perking soils. Before installation of the Elgin in-drain treatment system, make certain that the selected site is prepared in accordance with local and state regulations. Carefully read and follow instructions provided in the Elgin Design and Installation Manual. Start by laying out the area to be excavated. In a trench configuration, the excavation is 4 feet wide. This allows for the 3 foot wide in-drain unit and 6 inches of concrete or washed sand on either side of the units. The typical depth of an installation is 29 inches. This allows for 6 inches of concrete or washed sand, 7 inches for the unit, 4 inches for the distribution pipe, and 12 inches for cover. The length of the excavation is determined by the number of in-drain units being installed. Allow 4 feet for each unit and 6 inches of concrete or washed sand at each end. Next, scarify receiving layer to eliminate smearing. Put in place a 6-inch level layer of DOT or State Highway concrete sand or a washed sand known to be medium to coarse with an effective size of 0.25 to 2 millimeters and with no more than 5% passing a number 200 sieve. Place the Elgin in drains end-to-end -end in the trench or cluster with the white painted stripe facing up. Be aware that the spacer cores may have sharp edges. Use solid pipe over the compacted sand from the distribution box to the first end drain. A two inch drop is acceptable for gravity systems. Next, center the four inch perforated distribution pipe over the end drains with the distribution holes aligned at the five and seven o'clock positions. For trench designs, the distribution pipe is capped at the far end. When utilizing cluster designs, the far end of the distribution lines are connected. On rows over 40 feet long, connect at the midpoints. Next, secure the pipe with one Elgin supplied clamp per end drain. Slide the clamp over the pipe into the up-facing core and force through the fabric and firmly into the underlying sand layer. Once the pipe has been secured, cover the system with the geotextile fabric supplied by Elgin. Drape the fabric straight down over the distribution pipe. 
At the beginning and at the end lines, cut and fold the fabric around the in-drain units. Next, secure the fabric in place with hand-shoveled sand. Take care not to block the holes in the distribution pipe. When utilizing a cluster design, place 12 inches of medium to coarse sand between in-drain units. For trench installations, place a minimum of 6 inches of medium to coarse sand on each side of the in-drains to a level even with the top of the units. Next, complete the backfill and loam to a minimum of 12 inches over the in-drains. Make sure to backfill in the direction of the perforated pipe. The fill used must be clean, porous, and devoid of large rocks. Be sure to avoid wheeled equipment over the system to prevent crushing or shifting the pipe assembly. A light track machine may be used if caution is taken. Finally, finish grade to prevent surface ponding and to divert surface runoff. Seed and protect from erosion. This completes the installation process. As you can see, the Elgin in-drain treatment system installation is simple and straightforward, reducing both labor costs and machine time. Further, the innovative design allows for superior treatment of septic tank effluent with a system that is smaller and simpler than other conventional designs. You get the advantages of a two-stage biomat, a shallow installation, 50% less fill requirement, no stone needed, and a system that is well suited for fast or slow perking soils. The Elgin in-drain treatment system provides three levels of effluent treatment while eliminating the chance of channeling effluent directly into the underlying water supplies. The Elgin in-drain treatment system represents a true advance in the treatment of septic effluent. A simpler and smaller design, coupled with an advanced two-stage biomat, makes the Elgin in-drain treatment system the system of choice for a wide variety of site locations requiring efficient and cost-effective wastewater treatment. <laughs>